Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be going over the 1.08 uh, machine update. I like to go over these updates real quick just to kind of show you guys what's changed, what's new, uh, and just kind of give you an overall review of things. Uh, so first things first, we got two new mods. So we're going to have the, the new pole trailer, and then we're also going to have the new two bunk uh, log trailer. So the two bunk log trailer is exactly the same uh, is the one that you guys currently have with the three bunks just simply has two bunks instead of three uh, This was a big request from people because they wanted to be able to do uh, Longer logs on the two bunk trailer. Uh, they also wanted to be able to have longer uh, Shorts that they could put in these without hitting that middle bunk So hopefully that answers uh, the questions that people have had for getting a two bunk trailer. So there you go You have that uh, The newest addition is the pole trailer so this is a uh, non-traditional style pole trailer. Uh, I, I did actually create one that you could use exactly like a real pole trailer. Um, one that you could disconnect and you could put it on the back of the truck. Uh, but there is one giant hindrance in doing that and that's that the locking straps do not work. So um, if you have, so what I had before was I had it so that the truck and the front bunk were both attached just like real life. So it was one separate truck and then the pole trailer, you're able to pull the tongue back and forth and then put it up on the back of the truck. Um, it worked great and looked cool for the, the, the look of it, but functionality-wise, you couldn't actually haul logs with it, which made it kind of pointless. So the thing about locking straps, um, if I have locking straps on the back, which I do, so we have a locking strap here, <coughs> and we have a locking strap uh, here on the front, which didn't show up, but... If you have them separate on two different objects, so if this is a solid chunk on the front, completely separate from the back trailer, and I lock the logs from the back, what happens is when you're driving down the road, this back part locks the logs in, but the front does not. And once it becomes locked, it ignores the physics of the other object. So if I lock this part, what happened or what was happening was every time you turn a corner the entire load of logs would slide and slip out on the other side of the stake and be just kind of hanging there and then if you unlock the load all your logs would just fall out all over the ground so in my playing around with it and i spent almost a whole day playing around trying to figure out how to do it i don't think it's possible to have a trailer that actually functionally locks the logs and have it as two separate parts Thus, a real-life pole trailer, which would normally connect kind of down here. This bar normally would never go up into the bunk like this. It would go down here, and then it would be a separate piece. But um, you can make one that looks cool, and, uh, you know, you can, you can use it as a model, but you can't actually use it functionality-wise. So I know lots of people wanted a pole-style-looking trailer, so this still technically does the exact same thing. Just, it's a single trailer, which may not be realistic, but at least you guys got something now. So this one is one solid trailer, but it actually connects right at this piece. So when you're in the truck, if you hit Q to disconnect, it actually just drops it kind of floating in the air like so. There's actually an invisible uh, um, support that holds it up. But yeah, basically the center bunk just connects right to your, uh, right to your fifth wheel hitch there. And uh, yeah. It, uh, it works pretty sweet. So yeah, all you gotta do, back up, connect, and like I said, when you're driving down the road, it acts very similar to what a pole trailer does, even though it may not be 100% realistic to a pole trailer. You can still load it, and like I said, the locking straps, they actually work uh, properly because it's all one object. Again, if you try to attach logs to two separate objects with locking straps, impossible. It just doesn't work. I've seen some I've seen some variations in FS19 and a couple other places, uh, but they just they look cool, but you just can't haul wood on them. And you know how I'm all about functionality. So if it doesn't function, it ain't happening, Captain. So yeah. Anyway, so that's the uh, the the fake but still working and fun to fun to load uh, pole trailer. And once you get a full load on there, it actually looks just like a real life pole trailer. Anyway, it's also got this little uh, functional handle here. So if you guys want. Uh, to like lift and pull the trailer side to side. I originally created that chunk on there so that you could put it on the back of the truck But you can't actually use it to lift the trailer and move it around side to side. So that's pretty cool um, So yeah, 
that's the two new trailers and the two new mods that are coming out in this pack. So hopefully you guys have some fun with those. Um, I have loaded these up a lot with longs. Uh, usually you can put like 15s to 18s on there and they work pretty good. But you guys can fiddle around and see what works best. Um, so low bedding, that was the other thing. I'm just going over the patch notes here. So low bedding is the thing I wanted to go over. I just got to tab through 100 million machines. Okay, so this is something that's come up, and I totally know what's going on, but I can't fix it. <laughs> so, I've had dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people emailing saying, the skidder won't drive up onto the back of the low bed. And you are 100% correct. Uh, when you first purchase it, um, sometimes it does, I hope it does it for this video so that I can demonstrate it. So, I bought the low bed and the truck... Uh, did I buy them first or last? I can't remember which way it goes here. Let's see. So, if you buy the low bed last, it doesn't seem to have the issue. But if you buy the low bed first, which I think I did, <coughs> then you'll run into this issue. Which I hope we still have the issue. But basically what happens is you try to drive on and it just doesn't go up. It'll slide, it'll slip. I'm hoping it does that for me here. Yeah, okay, see? So this is what's happening. So the, the skidder will not drive up that back which is super annoying and i don't know what's causing it i have no idea what is happening with that but for some reason the physics aren't like aren't relaying it now you can cheat and kind of like use your blade to like pincer yourself up and it gets to here but then it still doesn't drive up the back tires just won't clear it so now the only way to fix this issue is two things one you either buy your low bed after you buy the skitter, so purchase it after you buy the skitter, or you have to reset the actual trailer. So if I go in here and I go zoom down to my trailer, uh, so we're just going to reset our truck too. We can still be right next to each other. So there's my trailer. I'm going to reset it. And here's our truck again. Like I said, the alternative is you buy your low bed last. That's the only way to fix that issue directly. But if you buy the low bed first, for some odd reason, the physics, I don't know why. I've looked into it. I've rebuilt the skitter pretty much from scratch. And I still can't make it go away. So I don't know what that is. Maybe a, just a glitch with the engine or something. So now that we bought that, or reset that, we should be able to drive right up on there like it never had a problem. See? Now it's no problem. It's like it never even happened weird right don't know why it does that can't figure that one out if there's any amazing people who know exactly what's going on there it's probably a weight distribution error or something you'll notice that the uh, grapple on the back of this guy is dancing around quite a bit so this was a hauling issue the reason this is flinging around so rapidly now i'm just gonna turn this off um so before, I know you guys, uh, a lot of you also report that you're having issues with the low bedding in general. So you weren't able to haul machinery. The skitter especially would go flying off or the grapple would go flying off or you'd have issues with that kind of stuff. So that was all a weight distribution error. And one of the main things was this had, um, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of resistance on it before. So when you're driving, you would notice that this thing was flying up in the air and it would do kind of weird stuff. Now, I've taken the resistance off, so this kind of dangles freely just kind of for fun here. I don't want it to dangle this much, but it's the only way to fix the low bedding issue, and it still hauls fine. So what we're going to do is we'll start it up, close our back things. So now this guy is totally haulable now without any issue. Like I said, you can you don't even need to lock it. I took the locking straps right off the trailer because um, too many people were locking machines into the, mach into the trailer. So now the trailer doesn't have locking straps at all because you don't need them anyway. So we're going to haul this guy all the way out to La La Land here. But as you can see, it sits really nice on the trailer. You can brake, no problems. You know, it doesn't launch the, the skidder flying off into the distance. Um, because the trailer now has less friction on the back tires, the trailer does have the ability to slide around. Um, so, like, you can fishtail it pretty good. I'll see if I can whip it here. Actually, it kind of whips a little. Oops. Oops. Um, Staring at the back end, not not driving straight here. Um, but because I removed that friction, I'll try to see see how it kind of skates a little bit behind me, so I can dog dog tail a little bit. We see it's flying back there. So that was the issue with why the machines were sliding off of the trailer was because the friction was so strong on the tires on the back, um, it actually caused the weight of the machines to 
pivot on the center of the trailer and they would cause them to fly around all over the place. So now as you can see, the skidder doesn't fly around, it doesn't, you know, get stuck or hung up while you're driving. Um, that was because of the, the uh, friction scale on the back of the uh, skidder grapple. So as you can see, it's flopping around there pretty good, but it's not floating in the air. The old one, when you used to haul it, it would kind of like, it would act like a sail. It would fly up in the air like a flag and just kind of sit there. So we're going to drag this all the way out. <coughs> I just wanted to show you guys that it is very easy to low bed now. I've done lots of uh, weight changes to the low bed trailer as well, along with suspension and stuff to make it so it just settles a lot nicer. But now you guys won't have any issues with hauling uh, machines or the skidder in general. Which is what I've always wanted, and I'm uh, quite excited that we were able to get that. So I just want to bring this out and grab another machine, just to show you guys um, the two. The two things are now low beddable without issues. And look at that sucker, it's sticking on there real good, no problem. But what was happening, even in multiplayer, and that's where we really discovered it being a big issue. Um, in multiplayer we started playing, and we tried hauling uh, a couple machines on the back. And yeah, basically they were just dancing right off of the load while you're going down the hill. And then you'd have to stop, put the machines back on the trailer, which is just not acceptable. So they don't do that no more with the new weights. And uh, yeah, it should be a really interesting, uh, interesting new pack. Now uh, with this package, we have uh, some other controversial changes. <laughs> so. Obviously, the FDR machines are already ridiculously heavy. Um, they've gone up. They're even heavier uh, because we had some tipping issues and some other weird stuff that was going on, jiggling of the machines. Um, so we've uh, completely changed that now. And the machines weigh a lot more, but they're also a lot more sturdy in, in many other ways, especially when you're trekking around. But we'll, we'll go over that. So once we get this guy off here, I'm just going to go over a couple other things that we changed on the skitter. We'll just turn this into a big low bedding episode. So let's see how far we can get this up the hill here. I don't know if we'll be able to get it right up into the landing there, but we'll try. We'll do a low bedding from above. There we go. Don't we're maxing out this poor truck here. It's good, you're not supposed to be able to bring trucks into places like this, so it's good that it's dragging its butt down a little bit. Alright, let's just put her there and see what happens. Okay, so the skitter. What else have we changed on the skitter? Um, so we, I've made it so it has a fixed axis point on the back, as opposed to uh, its ability to change, so let's just roll off here for a second. Um, so the tires have a little bit of suspension give to them now. So there's a little bit of buoyancy in the front end and the back end while you're uh, skidding. So it gives it a little bit of a smoother ride. The other thing is um, the axis point is now solid on the back. Before it used to have the ability to kind of tilt side to side a little bit and back and forth. Now it's one solid axis. So what was happening would um, you'd, you'd park on a weird angle and the skidder would kind of jump up and down back and forth. Um, and it would cause a little bit of an issue there. So now, when you're parked on a weird angle, it doesn't pivot back and forth and jump around all wacky. Um, there is a little bit of suspension given the front. I wonder if I can use it like a tree or something. Or actually, you know what? You can just hop in one of these and probably lift the front end a little bit. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of how much give there is in the front end. So let's go see if we can hook onto the front here. I don't know if we can lift this or not. It's pretty heavy. Oh, yeah, there we go. So you see there's lots of give in the front end on those tires, on that suspension. So that allows the skidder to kind of ride, float a little bit nicer. And it also fixed that issue where it would kind of jump back and forth. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of uh, movement in the tires. When I go to drop it, it gives like a lot of suspension drop. Um, so that, like I said, now allows you when you're parked on a weird angle, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, bop around. And like I said, lots of people were saying, my skitter's dancing back and forth, and all it's doing is just being parked there, and it won't stop. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's an issue. So now, like I said, when you're parked on weird angles and stuff, it actually stays in, like, it stays from uh, jumping up and down. It doesn't do that whole weird pivot jumpy thing that it was doing before. So it's uh, a lot nicer that way. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it basically just settles a lot nicer. You can haul quite a bit of trees. 
Um, the weight on the skitter has also been changed. So when you're hauling trees, we'll just grab a random pile. Oops, whoa, parking on weird angles here. There we go. So let's grab, oops, our boom is way out here. There we go. Let's just grab a big old pile of these guys here. If I can find a decent grab here in one sec. Whoop. It didn't butt these up nice. Somebody gonna get fired. So I'll grab these. Like so. Shwink. There we go. Okay, so uh, locking strap still works functionality wise. Looks good. Um, because it's a lot heavier now, you can haul stuff a lot nicer. Um, even these big trees go really, really smooth. Um, the locking straps hang on a lot better. There was Before, there was quite a bit of jitter jumping around while you were hauling. Um, but now, like I said, these guys are pretty, they're pretty good. Uh, I just gotta not pin it up against the machine would be the key. There we go. Get it free from the world. So yeah, now you're, uh, you're pretty free to travel wherever you want with these guys. They're pretty darn, pretty darn smooth. Um, and like I said, while you're hauling, it's a lot smoother in the cab. Before it was very jittery, it would jump up and down, like, really violently. Like, kind of like you're driving over, uh, like, um those deactivated roads with all that uh, washboard kind of stuff. But now it's like really smooth because of that suspension in the front end, the tires jump up and down. So you get lots of movement while you're skidding, got lots of room. I think I might corner myself here. I don't know where I'm gonna go. We're creating our own skidder trail. Here we go. Might end up pincering it on, oops. Might end up pincering it here. Oops, oh, I lost my trees. I didn't lock them. <laughs> oops, that's my bad. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. So don't forget to lock the trees because they can still slide out of there. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, but yeah, like I said, you can drive a lot nicer and it's uh, the suspension's a lot better for sure. So you guys will have fun with that. I now put the skitter head on the ground a lot because it, uh, it liked to bounce around quite a bit. So yeah, that's the skitter. Skitter's all good and happy. Uh, next thing we're going to cover is uh, track machines, improved overall suspension system. So... Uh, well, track machines, that, and the speed as well. So the track machines, anything with tracks, like these, this guy here, um, it now has a little bit faster travel speed. I think it's like two or three kilometers an hour faster. So that was a request by a lot of people to increase the speed. So now the speed is definitely a little bit faster. Like I said, it goes about seven kilometers an hour as opposed to four to five, which it did before. So you can kind of get from point A to point B a little quicker. Again, I didn't want to make them too fast because in reality they don't go super fast. So um, so all the machines have a new suspension system on the tracks. So the tracks actually go a lot better. You can turn a lot nicer. You can go up hills a lot better. Um, they're basically just unstoppable little monster machines now. And with the new weights and stuff, you can pick up the trees a little bit better. So like things like the, um, things like the, um, the heel boom, if I can get my claw around it there. Um, work a lot better because there's a lot more weight in the machines. Uh, so if I can get under it here. So you can actually like lift those chunks up and stuff and drag them around, which is nice. Uh, same with these little ones. Let's do the little ones. The big ones are a little iffy. Let's grab, oops. Let's try and get a couple of these here. If I can see what I'm doing. Like I said, you got a lot more weight in these grapples now and a lot more weight in the, the head itself. So then you're able to lift up the trees better. Okay, I can't see what I'm doing here. There we go. So yeah, like I said, you can kind of pincer them down a little bit more and move them around. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, that's why. There we go. So like I said, before you were having, there was troubles where you couldn't use this back end uh, piece against the tree because it wouldn't actually cause it to rotate, but now you can actually turn it and stuff It's still it's still not a hundred percent When you're working with uh, heel booms in this game, it's an absolute nightmare uh, Because the physics don't agree with the fact that you're putting a solid object against a component Anyway, it's a long story, but anyway, so these work a lot better than they did I know a lot of people were having issues with them tipping like, you know, you go oops You'd go to swing out your cab you know, and down here, and the whole machine was tipping over and stuff. Well, now it's uh, it's it's a little tippy on long long edges, but like your whole machine's not going to go flying over, which is super nice. So a lot of people are going to be happy with that one. 
Uh, what else we got on our list here? Uh, so all track machines improved. All trailers, we already went over that. Increase the weight and better handling. So now when you're hauling a full load of um, logs on any of the log trailers, when you're driving, you'll notice it's a little less bouncy. Um, it's still bouncy-ish, but it, it rides really nice. Um, it won't tip over like the other ones were kind of threatening to do. Um, all machines improved weights and tipping. We just went over that, so all the machines have better systems now. Same with the bunching. Like um, I know a lot of people are having troubles with the buncher going up hills and stuff. They said that they would. Uh, it was really easy to tip it over. Uh, so now, let's get uh, this tree right here. So now, like I said, you can really reach out quite far without the machine being completely tipped over. Bunching's a lot easier than it was before, too, so... Um, I've done some minor improvements to all the grapples and the buncher head and weights and stuff like that, too, so... You guys will notice uh, quite a smooth... a smooth difference. Like I said, even when you're cutting these giant big trees now, you know, your, your, your machine can hang on to that guy. These ones you might want to be a little more careful with, but like I said, that's a that's a really big tree, and the buncher can extend that far out without the whole machine falling over. So then when you go do your dumps, at least you can, you know, be a little bit more secure in knowing that your machine's not going to fall over. So I saw, uh, somebody sent me a video of uh, them bunching on a hill, and the machine was almost over on its side while they were trying to handle a, a log. And Well, with the new weights, the new heavy weights, these ones definitely do not do that, so... Oops. Bad bunch. But yeah, anyway. Let's just fling this over here. But yeah, you guys will notice when you're going up hills, especially, you're not going to have any more tippiness, which is nice. So, rat on. So that's fixed. Um, buncher, that's done. Uh, do, 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 do. Dangle processor. Uh huh. So, after the last processor. Oh, look, a floating tree. Um, after the last processor. Uh, update. There was lots of guys that didn't like it, and I agreed. There were some things that I didn't like about it either, but it was a it was a test and see how it would go, and it didn't go super well. So the old one, the head used to be really floaty. So like this one's this is the improved one now. So it's actually swings quite quite close to realistic or more realistic than the other one. Um, the other one like you'd go swing your head, and it would be like really floaty, like slow. But this one, like I said, you can really kind of whip it around a lot better. It feels a little bit more fluid, I guess you could say. Um, so now when you go to do your logs and stuff, it's it's quite a lot better. Uh, I'm just going to set my length a little shorter here. There we go. So now uh, the rollers are improved. Um, so they actually, you know, actually grab a little bit better. Just the whole fluidity of the head while you're processing, you'll notice it feels a lot more, a lot more, I don't know, balanced, I guess. The other thing I added was um, a little bit of give in the processor head itself. So this point that tilts, like so when I raise and lower the head, before used to be a solid chunk of node, but now it's actually got a little bit of give in the head. So, oops, uh, let's turn it this way. I'm just trying to example here. So you see how when I push down, it actually has a little bit of like wiggle room. So now it's not 100% fixed right against it. Uh, so when you go to grab and stuff, it's got a little bit of leeway against the physics. So it's, I don't know, it just feels a lot smoother while you're processing. And like I said, you'll be able to kind of whip a little bit faster. The head feels a little bit more, yeah, just fluid, you know, I'd, I'd say is the way to do it. So once you get processing, you know, you can really kind of whip the head back into the pile. You feel a little bit more balanced. So yeah, that one I think some people will really like, especially guys who do a lot of processing. Um, but -bum 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 -bum, what else? And last one was the grapples. So, uh, big complaint about the grapples was that um, the the response time on when they opened and closed. Let's get this tree out of our face here. Um, the response time on when they opened and closed was like super delayed, and it was quite a bit delayed due to the way it was set up. So now when you press the button, it it actually like responds a lot more realistically. And like I said, this is more like the one that I ran in real life, that Medill. Um, it's very similar to how that one reacts. So you put a little bit of pressure, it goes, a little bit more it goes. Um, <clears throat> the weights of the grapples also been changed. So now they can pick up the logs a little bit better. I'm just going to try to get a little bundle here. Again, they stay very much locked in while you're moving. So now you don't have to really worry about, you know, losing the logs or anything. And now with the weights of the heads being higher, um, it's, it keeps the logs kind of more situated in the grapple without them escaping. 
because before the the weight of the grapples was a little bit lower than what I wanted for the logs but the problem was the machines were too light to handle the heavy grapples so now that the machines are super heavy the grapples are right where I want them for the weights and it's uh, it's quite nice so yeah um, that's pretty much it for this update there's probably lots of little tiny things that I changed that you guys uh, that I didn't mention or whatever but this is kind of the start the start of things so you guys can give that a shot if you guys have any questions or comments about the way things are or if you notice anything weird let me know in the comments or shoot me an email at fdrlogging at hotmail.com because um, yeah like I said we're always trying to improve and make things better I think with this update it'll fix a lot of concerns that people had and I think that should straighten it out but there's always going to be little things that I missed or other things that people want so yeah let me know hope you guys enjoy the update see ya